Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to layer slices based on a mesh surface, like you can see in this image. So we have this kind of camouflage like patches layering on top of each other. As per usual, you can download the file on my Procygen website and we are going to start with a new scene and a pick hat, which we subdivide twice to get a smoother surface. Now let's convert this to a volume using VDB from polygons with a resolution of 0.01 to remain the detail. To inspect this sign distance field called surface, we are going to uh, use a volume slice and set it from negative 0.1 to positive 0.1. And if you play with the exterior band, you can see how it uh, gets more information on the outside. Let's leave this at three. And we are only also going to see a change when we fill the interior. So now we have the entire information of the distance to the boundary surface. So you can see this gradient here from the inside to the outside. Now what we are going to do is we're using a volume wrangle to um, first of all understand how to change the ISO surface, so the zero boundary from inside to outside. And we can do that by going F at surface positive 0.1. That way you see when we go positive then our shape is shrinking and when we subtract from it, the surface will grow until it touches the uh, exterior band. So we can only do this with very little values for now because we do not want to spend some extra band voxels. Now, instead of simply subtracting or adding from it, we are going to set the surface to a sine wave of its own uh, distance and we are going to multiply it by a rather high frequency which will turn our slices into uh, this kind of look so you can see wherever we switch from red to blue the ISO surface is crossed which should also be visible once we convert back to polygons so use convert VDB and maybe add a clip node to see inside, especially if we cut along the Z axis and set it to below plane, you should see the various slices we have created. Now in order to improve the quality, we may also um, prepend a renormalize SDF node and that way um, there might be slight changes or improvements of the quality. And again, we have to make sure that uh, these slices do not touch. There's a connectivity node we can use to identify each of these slices. There's a point class now starting from zero for each slice. And we can use the attribute adjust color to create random colors based on this custom attribute called class. You can play with the seed to get different combinations and that would be the, well, the method, but we can also do a bit more with the class. For example, we can create individual noise patterns on the surface to have a more interesting opening. So we wouldn't want to have the clip but rather something a bit more appealing. So let's use the attribute noise float. Set it to CD to see something. And we can play now with uh, a zero centered noise. You can scale it in. You can move it the way you want. And more importantly, we can deactivate the fractals to get rather easy openings that aren't, aren't too crazy and use the vex pression to offset this pattern for each slice. 
So you would simply offset maybe along the Y component and set this offset to um, the class. So we would simply use I at class to offset this. Now each slice should now have a different, uh, different offset. And yes, CD is um, usually a vector, so let's just call our attribute height. And we are going to store our position to temporarily set the Y component of our position vector to the height attribute. And because we set the noise to be zero centered, there should be one half below and the other half above the clipping plane. And now we can use another rest node to restore the initial position. And that way you get this camouflage pattern. And now optionally we can um, create some um, curves out of this. So you would remove the shared edges and use a polypath node to create curves which should be resampled to subdivided curves using a length of maybe 0.01. And I typically use the sweep node set to a round tube with a rather small radius of 0.1. And this can be combined with the initial surfaces to get our desired look. Now let's play with the colors, but this should be roughly it. And feel free as per usual to play with all the parameters we have discussed. Thank you for watching.